Cool. There's a guy named Korean Zombie. Yeah, the UFC fighter. His name's Korean Zombie. That's his nickname, I think. Oh. No, that's his that's his name, dude. Oh yeah, as in whoa. It's Aldo versus Korean Zombie. The views and opinions expressed on any program are those of the persons appearing on the program and do not necessarily reflect the views and opinions of the New Media Factory. Some programs on this network might include strong images and language and may not be suitable for all audiences. Viewer discretion is advised. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. The biggest, most outrageous online show in Philippine history. 20 million fucking downloads. Interactive in 35 countries. Mo is back with a vengeance in season two. Bigger, better, badder. Let's start off with an international call. Yesterday we took a call from India. Tonight it's Canada. Nice. Let's go to Ireland. Where in Ireland are you? Well, I'm in Dublin. Some people say that I'm a bad guy. They may be right. Let's go to Afghanistan. Holy shit, are you fucking really in Afghanistan? Yeah, man, what's up? Florida. What's up? I just found your show today, and I think it's great. Live from Hollywood and at the Beyond the Box studios in One Rockwell, Makati, it's Good Times with Mo, the podcast season two. The Bigger, Better, Badder podcast. Your questions about love, life, sex. And more sex. Are all answered and occasionally made fun of here. And now, the man who loves women and dudes, but not in the same way, the Philippine genius, DJ Mo Twister. Welcome to the podcast on a Thursday night, 25th of July. Hello, everyone. It's Good Times with the Podcast, Season 2, brought to you by Globe. Our phone number, if you'd like to call us, is 478 7954. You can uh, catch us on Skype as well, the Good Times Podcast. Text is 0927 214 1981. Now, no celebrity guest tonight, just me, you guys, ask anything you want. And I think, like we did last time, was uh, when I was alone, was you get to choose your caller of the night prize. And we still have the last pair of Lincoln Park VIP tickets that we'd love to showcase to you guys tonight. So if you're a big fan of live music, do you like Lincoln Park, if you like concerts, I suggest you choose that one tonight. Because yesterday it was available, but the guy with the cleft uh, lips said he didn't want it. So I'm like, oh, fantastic. Then we have it uh, to showcase for tonight. So definitely get your calls in. Every, every caller who uh, calls the show and uh, asks a question also wins three movies each from clickplay.ph. So a very generous evening, almost game show-like. For us tonight with you guys. We do have a lot of calls. So your love problems, your life problems, your sex questions, whatever it may be, definitely throw it out at me. And uh, I'll do my best to uh, to help you guys out. All right? So let's get to it. It is, again, another... Well, Pico, is it raining out there again tonight? Uh, no. Nope. It seems like... It doesn't seem like this win, uh, This not winter. This rainy season has been rainier than seasons past. I feel uh, like every, every really. night you guys complaining that it's raining. No, it's just when it rains, it's pretty bad, but uh, generally... It's, it's not every day, it's just yeah, awful it's when it does. Yeah, yep. Oh, huh, fantastic. I miss you guys. Not really. Kind of, sometimes. You know, what I was, you know the, the movie I watched uh, the other day, Graceland? It's this uh, Filipino movie that's, that gets such huge reviews uh, here in the U.S., and um, I was really excited about it, because like, if you go on Rotten Tomatoes, I mean, it just got such a huge, like positive review and i'm like wow filipino movie great independent type of film and then i watched it uh not that great of a film and, and I, I i don't know where the uh well i mean i'm proud of it because a, a lot of international uh critics adored it applauded it, and, and of course they know a lot more about movies than i do but i was really pumped up and i was like oh man this must be fucking fantastic watch it no not not, not uh not too special if you uh if you ask me, but if you loved it, apologize. Graceland is what it's called. Um, just, just certain characters and, and things were like unbelievable. Like they had this guy who was, uh, he's a congressman and he's a goony congressman. And his kid, he drops off his kid 
uh, at a public school and he's driving a, a, a Vios. So hardly believable if you're a congressman in our country. But um, yeah, totally. If you, if you want to check it out, it's there. All right, let's get to some of these calls. Um, let's start with whoever's been on hold the longest. That would be line one. Talk to Pedro, who's 24. What's going on, Pedro? Welcome to the program. Line one. Hello. Yes, Pedro. What's up? Hi, Mo. Good evening. Yeah. Hi. Hi. Uh, so here it is. Uh, I have this friend. She moved to California, I think, or somewhere in the States. I'm just not sure where. And then she was uh-huh. really just a friend when she was still here in the Philippines. Uh, and then okay. <laughs> we ended up sexy texting each other. You're not a gay guy? Come again? You're not a gay guy? I know I'm not I'm not gay dude. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Shoot, I started the converse like, hey girl, you know, because I I, I had that vibe. I'm sorry. Okay, so sorry. you were sexting <laughs> I, I, with a platonic friend of yours when yeah. she moved away. Supposedly so, it was uh, we were supposedly platonic and then one thing led to another and then I just I guess we were both just horny at the same time and then there we ended up sexy texting each other and then sure (laughs) so the thing is we've been at it for like uh a month now and things were getting pretty intense (laughs) how wild okay okay hold on one second because again uh, i've said it many times recently i'm not a sex thing kind of guy how uh, wild can it get on the text oh well uh, we send each other video clips, I guess, because iMessage oh. lets you send video clips. <laughs> oh, and, shit. Uh, well, you right? know, with the right angle and with the proper sound effects, I guess you could... It's way better than porn, dude. <laughs> well, it's way better than porn because you know the person on the other end. Come again, come so again, dude. The, it, it, it's, it's better than pornography because you know the person on the other end. It's yeah. dangerous, though. I mean, it's it's incredibly dangerous. But at the same time, if I mean, if done and and done properly, and you completely trust that guy and the girl and whatever, it's it's awesome because you get to star in your own. In yeah, your own yeah, porn. I know. That's why, like, when I'm when I'm on two bait and all of that stuff, I'm not looking for the produced pornography <laughs> yeah. unless it's. Uh, you know, uh, Sola AI or or like a, 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 a even a Maria Zawa. Not not I'm not a, not that excited anymore to watch that porn because it's so produced. I go for the uh, the the amateur uh, sex tape shit that they they post on there because yeah, those are the best. Be ones because it, the th- th- there's a right, uh, there's like the, a human the, factor there. Carry on, dude. There's a human factor to it. To, to those things and so that's why i completely get why yours is better than pornography you know that person there's like a real human connection it's not that bad acting that you see in no. in porn no the problem is things are kind of getting awkward between me and my friend why is that uh because uh, supposedly we so it's like she's my virtual fubu <laughs> and right now right. she's trying acting up like my virtual girlfriend. It, well, sh- she's not uh, just virtual. She's a real person. But she's yeah. kind of acting up like my girlfriend. And the sure, thing sure. is, I don't want things to go that way. Well, I, well, actually, I don't know what I want to. But I want the sexy texting to, to, be, <laughs> to continue because it's really nice. <laughs> but I don't want us to end up like two friends who got, who hooked up and then who flopped and then we're not friends anymore because she's really a good friend of mine right uh yeah this this could be uh, gosh I, I didn't even know you know how i always say that uh if you're fubuing someone you, someone's gonna tend to fall in love and stuff like that after a few months but exactly. i didn't know that it's possible with virtual fubu like if you're sexing each other that one will actually in fact fall in love with the other it's kind of it's kind of wild to think that that's even possible, but I guess it is in your case because, I mean, there's no true intimacy. I mean, uh, okay, aside from when you guys are sexting, do mm-hmm. you talk about anything else? Yeah, we usually talk about, I talk, we talk about her work, school, and how her, her mom nags her that she, she does well, nothing so, so at then, home. So then, yeah, so then it is possible to pen pal fall in love as in the olden days, and then now you guys are just taking the pen pal shit and having even even having sex. 
I, I, I mean, I guess she can fall in love with that because you're there for her. Especially, you just said that all she does is stay home and do nothing. If she's just yeah. staying home and doing nothing, and the only thing she has going for herself is when she talks to you, yeah, she'll she'll she can be ultra connected to that, and then all of a sudden want more than just the sex thing. Maybe she lured you in with the sex, and wants you to stay now every day because she's bored or lonely, or, you know. I don't know, man. Uh, you uh, you gonna, you're going to have to – no, it's not a good idea. Unless you feel s- extremely – unless you feel strongly about this girl, which I don't think you do. I mean, you, you, you love her as a friend, yeah. but you don't like in love with her. Yeah. Then I say this is a bad idea. How long is she going to be in the States? Well, I guess she's going to be there for like two more, three years. Yeah, that's, that's – no, I, I mean, no. Not when you're 24 and you've got like – this is the prime of your life. You don't you don't spend it on on this girl like exclusively. You can continue the sex thing, but you have to tell her that that's what it is. Yeah. You're like, hey, listen, man, this is this is what it's going to be. Obviously, we're we're a long distance relationship. Do you have a U.S. visa? Uh, yeah. Shit, I was gonna say, you know, I hear them home on a visa. Do you know what the You know, you can just kind of give a bunch of like excuses instead of being brutally honest that I only want you for your virtual <laughs> body. But, um, she's like, she's like a ten there. <laughs> oh really? Shit! You gotta send me a clip, man. Send me a clip of the one without her face. <laughs> I'll hit you up. <laughs> I want to back it up. Yeah, you got you know. No, okay, hold on one second. Uh, staff, shit. You guys don't have my personal number here in the U.S., right? None of you. Nope. Hold on, hold on. I'm gonna send it. I'm gonna send it to one of my staff members. You got you gotta send me one without her face there. All right. Uh huh. Pedro. Is not a ten at Cherry Scale. <laughs> I'm sorry, he's not a show. Oh, she's not a ten in my. Yeah, well, I'll be the judge of that. I'll be the judge of that. So, so, uh, and here you go. I'm going to send you my personal number on. Uh, uh, so you can iMessage me that thing. There you go. And I want to see your uh, virtual friend there. All right. Thanks for the call, Pedro. Listen. Oh no. To be honest and be serious. Uh, just you have to be honest with her and just say, "Hey, listen, I, I, I mean, I like you. You can even say I like you, but we can't do long distance relationship. Obviously, it's not going to work out. But I don't mind continuing what we have right. right now, and and hopefully she says yes to that. Okay. All right. Thanks, man. All right. All right. All right. Hold on. Don't go away. Don't go yeah. away. We need to talk to you. We need to talk to you off air, buddy. Uh, let's go to uh, line six and talk to. Who do we have here on six? Uh, let's go to Mary, who's twenty seven. Hi, Mary. You're in the gig. What's up? Hi. What's Hello. up, baby? Sorry, I'm a bit worried and scared. Also. What's wrong? <laughs> um, do you know my question, right? Uh, maybe not. Um, you, your, yeah, so your question is about licking butthole? Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It, well, Why is your I kind of dated a guy who likes to suck my toast and he won to lick my ass. <laughs> Ask you like licking your ass. Um, <laughs> did did he yeah. want you to do that to him? Huh? No. Well, he didn't. Well, not yet. I'm a bit scared that you would ask me to. Okay. All right. I just don't so get the, the idea. Why do guys like it? What? Huh? So what's the question? Well, the question is, what's with licking it? I mean, there's there's the pussy. Why even like the ass? That's I, you know I've been saying that for a long time. It's like why even flirt with the ass when there's a perfectly nice vagina four inches away? Yeah, like, right? right. Why? I, What's I, I, that? I, I know I'm with you. I'm with you there. And and I think this guy that you're uh, sleeping with is uh, is in the minority. I don't think a lot of guys like the ass play. I. I I'm not a I'm not a fan of um, anal sex. I've never tried it. I have no intention to because, like I said, why why do it? There's a perfectly good vagina a few inches north of that asshole that that you it's can. Just that I, it's two guys with yeah. It's been two guys, so I'm a bit worried. That, you know, is it like a new fad or something? Like, oh, both. I don't know what's going on. Both of the guys that you've slept with. Wait, both of the guys that you've slept with both wanted to lick your ass? Yeah, it is like I'm not really sure what's going on. Like ah. one is Yeah, maybe there is I a trend that I don't I, know I about. I stopped dating him and then after that 
this guy comes along and it's the same shit. I'm a bit worried that I don't okay. want it. Okay, uh, I, if if I were if I were to guess though, if I were to yeah. guess, you must yeah. have a really clean area down there, like your vagina is well kept. I mean, are you Brazilian? Do you shave all the way? Uh, not all the way. I it's kind of like the French, you know, French cut that you you leave portion yeah, of yeah, it you on top of. And Ange, Ange here says maybe you have some chocolate in your ass, and everybody's going for it. No, w- w- okay. If I were to, if I were to guess, no, if I were to guess, Mary, that you have a really nice looking vagina and asshole, that general area is kept in great condition. Um, some guys will go down there and smell around first, and I don't want to say it smells oh, okay. great because I, I, I no, maybe, maybe and, and look, this is a compliment for you that. It's. I just well, think that it, yeah, you, but you, you, it's not. You wear it well down there. For it. I just color? think you, you you're, you're well kept down there. Yeah, you 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 clean up well. You maybe you look it looks nice down there because it's odd for two guys in a row to go for some ass licking unless you're right that there's some sort of trend out there that I don't know about and I'm not engaging in. Well, I think you have to find but out what, about it for me. <laughs> It's just so weird already. I don't know. Do you have a nice asshole? Do you have a nice vagina? I think I do. Well, but you it's still not it. the... I actually asked a friend, a guy friend of mine recently, if he, he if he have tried it. And he actually said yes. So it's making me more worried that what the hell's going on. Uh... I still think it's a I minority. Friends. I think it's a minority move. Yeah, yeah, Mary. I really, I really do. Um, I've seen the only the only way that I would even kind of suggest for myself to do this if it was a really nice asshole and a really nice vagina, like it's just perfect down there. And there are, and trust me, the the guys these days, they look at the cosmetic part of the vagina. Like we, we take note of it. And, and I remember yesterday we were talking to Kat Alano about the changes that guys are going through that we're a little bit more feminine and a little, got, girls are a little bit more masculine. I'm telling you, I think back in the day, guys didn't care what your vagina looked like. Yeah, we didn't give a shit. Now it's like, I mean, the symmetry, the, the, the cut, the color. I mean, obviously the smell. I mean, we're, we're now critiquing it more than ever. And I think if, all of uh, if I look at your vagina and I go, ooh, well, hey, this is this is okay. Haircut, nicely done. Check, smell, check, color, check. Uh, you know, tightness and and then you know uh, aesthetics, check. Not too big lips, not too this, check. Okay, shit, this is a perfect vagina. I might lick her asshole. You know, what I mean, like, oh, okay. I don't it, know. It I, might, I'm just thinking that. of not seeing him again because of it. Um, yeah. <laughs> Are you hot? Um, I'm not hot in your idea. I'm a bit thick. I'm very voluptuous. So, if it's big yeah. boobs and big ass, that's me. So. All right. I, 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 I'm telling you then. I, if I was gonna say it, it must be, it must be really nice down there and very pleasant. And and. Uh, guys know that there are a lot of nerves in the asshole area that, you know, if you tickle it a little bit, people get, you know, sometimes people get turned on. I'm, again, I'm not a big fan. I certainly do not want my asshole licked because I know how <laughs> volatile. Good. Yeah, I, I, I know how volatile my shit is, like when I poo. So there's, I definitely don't uh, want a girl licking yeah. there and then coming up and then making out with me. Uh, that, you know, no way. So I, or maybe because they're French. Is it because they're French? I don't know. Oh, the guys! Oh, the guys that you're sleeping with are euros. Oh well, yeah, and my old my friend is also French, so that's why I ask him because he's French. Oh, the guy that maybe I dated, yeah, they're... maybe look, maybe it's a French thing. Yeah, totally. No, maybe that's it. Hello, you, you, it would have been nice for you to include that in your story in the beginning. But, you know, maybe maybe it's a French thing because I think Pinoy's generally as as conscious as we are about our hygiene will not. Go for the asshole lick. I, I just think we we're not one of we're not those kind of people. 
And if you go to the porn and stuff like that, you'll see a lot of asshole licking. I don't think that's I don't watch thing. that because it's like really gross for me. Yeah, I, I just no. If if it's French guys that are licking your ass, and it's always French guys, and then <clears throat> you happen to ask a French dude, maybe it's a French thing. I don't maybe. think it's a Pinoy thing. All right. Okay, maybe right. I should just really go back to Pinoy. Wait, hold on, time out. I need to. There, there are about three guys in 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 this in the studio right now from our staff members that are bothering me, and they they keep on sending me messages. Please ask for her Twitter. Please ask her. I mean, they they all want to hook up with you. Uh, I want to ask. Let, let's start with uh, maybe Pico. We're ask JM here, one of these guys here. Uh, asshole licking. Have you ever done it? And is, is am I right? This is this is not a move that we would generally do. Nope. No way. Never. We wouldn't do it, right? Nope. No. All right. Oh, maybe it okay. is a French thing. <laughs> it's a cultural okay. thing. Yeah. All right. It's just kind of weird when he tried to do it and then he want to kiss you. It's yeah, that's like that's no. the part. You know, listen. That's the part if, that I'm like really have to back up. You're out. right. You're right. I would let a person lick my asshole. Feel free. Oh, we just lost her. No worries. We don't have to call her back. We're done. But uh, yeah, feel free to lick my asshole. Just don't make out with me afterwards. And there's a few things that that's what I've told you. That's why that's why I said before that I've swallowed man cum before. Is because I've had the blowjob, and then come in the mouth, and then the girl decides to make out with you, and you can still taste it on her face. It happens all the time, and I'm like, oh god, I'm just even though it's my own personal man milk, she's still making out with me, and I can I can taste it in my mouth. <laughs> What more asshole licking? And then you come up and go, oh, man, this would be like shit between your teeth. And the ass hair and all. Oh, fuck. No, 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 no. Uh, let's go to our next caller and talk to uh, RJ. RJ, you're up. You are 30 years old, Quezon City. What's up, RJ? You're on line five. RJ. Hello. Should I say his real name? Go. RJ, the guy who found out the office mates have been speaking behind his back. RJ? Just put him on hold. Put him on hold. Never mind. Let's take a break. When we come back, we'll take more of your calls. Hey, phone number 478-7954. Skype is the Good Times Podcast. You can even text us, 0927-214-1981 on a Thursday night. Just me and you guys, kids. And a little bit later on the program when we do Caller of the Night, you get to choose... Which major prize you want. And hopefully those Lincoln Park VIP passes are yours. Good times with all the podcast season two. Brought to you by Globe. Don't go away. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga biglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Take a little sunshine, drop a little rainbow, mix in a smile, just live for a while. Sabrina's Kitchen, what you waiting for? Sabrina's Kitchen, always room for one more. Sabrina's Kitchen, cooking up a storm. Sabrina's Kitchen, always something new. Sabrina's Kitchen, tables waiting for you. 
Hey, podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. familiar with a with a game Chubby Bunny. But what's um chub, what's wait. Have you have played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever can get the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna va. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. Go. Two at a time? Okay, I'll go two at a time. Okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. <laughs> okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> okay, can I back? Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay, no. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. It. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about. Oh, 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 oh what does this look like? Vagina? And. Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... It's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High-five, bro! Vagina? Vaginas? And you're jacking off really intensely but like massaging your balls and shit! I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know? Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. And if you think call center work is easy, think again. Because if you want to get into the industry, you have to practice. Vladimir Vlad is the best pump if I want to play a player and vocals in the post for biting them. I don't know how to do that. 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 Dadaanan naman si Lunes, mag adjust ka na naman ng tulog mo. Oh my god. Oh my god. Miss oh mo. <laughs> oh. <Oy. laughs> <laughs> 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 
Hi, this is Mo Twistler. Please watch The Call Center Show every Sunday, 6 p.m., only here on New Media Fact. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not... <laughs> Tears up! Tears up! Anyway, jaundice does not know... <laughs> This is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John this. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at this dessert. The Vitayo. Got so many snacks. Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos, ang puti. Hay, tapo dito ba pwede ba diyan? Pwede, pwede. Continue. <laughs> yeah, no, para sa show mo ha. Oh. Rico, ano yaya ba? Pwede ba tong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa tong pang nose line? <laughs> Tita oh. Kay, may caution. A when, caution! When, caution! Basta when... <laughs> ah! ng glamour te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> burahin na, burahin na siya. <laughs> Don't worry. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. I'm so scared. You should have caught me. You should have caught Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What you've been missing on The Factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War sent on the private beta for and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice. It's, and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect <laughs> timing. <laughs> perfect timing. <laughs> well, before that, I was I was kicking ass. So go with the theme of the show. How not to how play? Not to play. It's Robert Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, six to seven p.m. Only here on the factory. So she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast and visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here Thursday night. It is the 25th of July. Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Our phone number is 478 7954 if you want to call us. Skype is the Good Times podcast. You can also text us at 0927. 214-1981. My name is Mo. No celebrity guest tonight. Just me and you guys. Ask anything you want. And at the end of the show, your chance at winning some pretty spectacular prizes that you will choose what you want. Headlined by these uh, VIP passes for Lincoln Park, which happens on the 13th of August. Don't forget to check out that concert. If you don't win tickets on our show, go out and buy some tickets. Um, some of the proceeds even go to a local charity in the country because that's what Lincoln Park... Uh, does with their concerts so good stuff august 13 live in manila lincoln park all right here we go let's take some more questions on this uh thursday night and let's start with the jack jack you are calling from Quezon city if i'm not mistaken what's going on buddy you're 23 um, years old on line six hi jack jack did we just lose him like this very second jack six no Hold on. No, Jack? Uh, he got disconnected. All right, hold on. We'll, we'll take another call then. Let's go with uh, let's go with Faith, who is in Qatar. Hi, Faith. How are you? You are on line five, 33 years old. Hi, Mo. Hi, Faith. Hello. I'm such a big fan. Oh, thank you. And I really appreciate you take the time out to call us from, uh, what, Doha? Yeah. <laughs> Sweet. All right. What's up, Faith? Well, thanks for calling all the way from the, the Middle East. What's your question? We miss you in the morning. Oh, man. You know what? I miss the morning show, too. But don't worry. I'll be back in four and a half months. <laughs> oh, it will be very long. I know. It's awful. And I hate it because, you know, when you get suspended, there's suspension without pay. Like, like oh, it's just awful. It's awful financially as well. Now I have to, like watch what I spend for the next four months and stuff like that. It's a pain in the ass. But don't worry. Hey, listen, we have a couple of podcasts 
almost ready to go that um i mean it's not this love advice sex advice stuff it's it's rather entertaining uh we're in the conceptualizing uh, part right now um buying some more material and stuff like that for the studio it looks like it's gonna be a pretty good show so if you guys do miss me in the morning on the radio um at least know there are at least at least one or two podcasts ready to go um that it's kind of like the morning show and i, I think it'll be a lot of fun so abangan okay faith yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. All right. So what's your question, baby? How can we help you? Um, I'm in a long distance relationship. Hello? Okay. My husband yes, is in uh, my husband is in Dubai. All right. We just got married last month. Oh, not so bad. Hello. All right. Congratulations. Yes, yeah, congratulations. Thank you. Continue. Uh, coming from you, it means a lot. Oh, thank you. All Hello, right, so your question. By next month will be his birthday. Okay. And? Yeah. I have no any idea what gift will I give him. How much money uh, do you want to spend on the gift? I can I can spend a lot for him. Yeah. Like uh, what what's a lot if you don't mind? Um What does that mean? Um more than more than more than ten thousand like that more than ten thousand pesos yeah that's a lot yeah man. That, that that's a that's a pretty good gift um well you know the, the key here is uh really breaking down what his interests are okay uh -huh. and then presenting presenting to him okay here's the thing uh girls when it comes to guys and you want to get us a gift uh, it's either two things. We'll be happy with whatever you get us because of the gesture and all of these things. I mean, we, we, we're happy about it. But there's nothing like asking us what we want. Like, we're, we're totally okay with you ruining the surprise. If you went up to me and I was your husband, Faith, and you go, uh, babe, you know, I was going to buy you an iPad for your birthday. Pero feeling uh -huh. ko, baka, baka hindi mo type. Ano kaya gusto mo? They would tell you. Like the guys, the guys gonna then they all you know, babe, okay lang yan, you know, gas to spot. And it's like, no, 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 because I really want to get you something you want. Ayoko naman bumili ng isang bagay na na ten thousand. Tapos when I present it to you, you're gonna di mo naman gagamitin. Once you say I want to buy you something you're gonna use and that you like, we're okay. We're already so happy. We don't really need the element of surprise. Like, when I have girlfriends and they're like, babe, what do you want for Christmas? And I'm like, no, no don't get me anything. It's okay. I love you and that's enough. And you know, I'll be, like, at least try to be gentlemanly about it. And they go, no, please. Because, hey, you know, I want you to open something you like. Then I'll say, okay, get me a watch. You know, I'll tell you what you, I want. Because I don't want you to spend a lot of money on something I won't use also. Or if you're going to buy your boyfriend basketball shoes, because a lot of Pinoys love these basketball shoes. Well, you know, there's a design component to that so you have to know what he wants so if I were you now this could be horrible advice but it's I think sound advice tell him babe what do you want for your birthday he's gonna say nothing I'm okay or kahit ano no but gusto kong talaga makuha I wanna buy something na talaga magugustuhan mo please just and then he, just let him say what he wants and then buy it Oh, I, I, I really think that that's a really good approach, especially when you're spending a lot of money. If you're not spending a lot of money, then you don't have to tell him. You could surprise him. But if the guy knows you're going to spend a lot of money, he won't mind, I think. I, I think the new, the new generation guy won't mind telling you what it, what it would be. Because then, you can go, then he can go, oh, okay, if you, when, when it comes to Christmas time or when it comes to birthdays, let's just, I'll take you shopping. But I, I'll spend money on you, but you're going to pick out what you want. I, I like doing that for the girl as well instead of surprising her because it's so risky when you're spending a lot of money. Actually, I asked him yesterday and he don't say anything. No, that's because he's going to, uh, like I told you, initially they're going to decline. Ano ba sabi niya nung tinanong mo? Um, he doesn't need any material things. That's, That's what exactly what me. I told you, right? He said, "Oh no, hindi na kailangan." But yeah, if you, exactly. If, okay. But then that's when you that's what that's when you say, "Oh, okay, because I really wanted to get you an iPad." 
and see what he says. He goes, no, 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 wag, wag. Or, meron na ako niyan. And then, oh, siga, ano ba gusto mo? You know, you really push and push and push until he's, I want you to be, I want to get you something that you're going to be happy with, you say. And he'll tell you. Knowing him, him, he will not say anything. Well, you know, listen. Tell him to call the show tomorrow or uh-huh. tonight. Tawagan uh-huh. mo siya. Oi, kausawin mo si Mo. Sh- mag- yeah. I'll talk. I'll talk him into the right gift for him. Okay. Tawagan mo ngayon. Sabihin mo tawag siya dito. Okay. Mag Skype siya dito. Then I'll, I, I promise you, I will be able to get it for you. Okay. Thank you so much. All right. All right. But okay, have a good, have a good day, love. Bye bye. Hello, hello, Mo. Hello. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, go. One more thing. Sure. Uh, best young adult book, please. Oh, wow. Right now? Best young right adult now. book? Oh, shoot. Boy, you caught, me, you, knocked me, you caught me off guard there because I, I, don't, I don't read too many novels. Uh, what's the most? Okay, what's the one I got most? Um, young adult. Yeah. Aside uh, from you, Fifty I mean... Shades of Grey. <laughs> <laughs> Have you have you read it already? Yeah. Of course, yeah. Woo-hoo. Um shoot. Uh I have uh, I I'm lost. Hold on one second. Let me ask the staff here because I've not read a novel in a quite some time. And I know what you're looking for. You're looking for maybe your Nicholas Sparks or or whatever. Guys around there, anybody reading anything now, young adult? What's what's hip? Uh no idea. Side, okay, still doing the Fifty Shades, Ange. Uh, shit, Faith, I, I, I want to give you an answer. I would hate to not give you an answer. Um, do me a favor. Adult best Listen. book ever that you've read. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that I've read? Oh, shit. I mean, yeah. I, I'm, I'm going to go super commercial. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I think the Da Vinci, uh, Da Vinci, the, is, it, is it Da Vinci Code? What is it? What is it? Yeah, Da Vinci uh, Code. Is it? Yeah, Da Vinci Code, I think, might have been my favorite of all time. That was a great movie. I mean, it was so good that I flew to Scotland, to Paris, to London, to just to see the places in the book. Uh, someone here on Twitter said, The Fault the Fault in Our Stars by John. I read it already. Hey. I read it already. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You know what? Why not the World War Z? Because, you know, the movie came out recently. The book is fantastic. And I know it's 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 not your romantic shit that you like, but... It's a really good book, and that was the most recent book I've read. World War Z is the is the latest, and that's that was in, I think I read that in January or February is when I read it. It's it's not bad at all, so you can flirt with that. Or why don't you finish up on the Game of Thrones? Like oh. like check out the check out Game of Thrones, man. The, the TV show is so freaking huge, and there's a lot of more. There are a lot of there are a few more books from where the TV show is at right now. That if you read ahead, it'll be good for you. Game of Thrones is fantastic. If you can, if you can tolerate big, thick books with, with a ton of characters and 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 some difficult language at times, it's uh, uh-huh. it's a great read. Oh, okay. That's probably the most popular thing right now, actually. How about the Thrones. perks of being a wallflower? Fantastic, fantastic book. Yes, yeah. wallflowers, great. You you, you oh, fantastic superb. book. Yes, okay. perks of being a wallflower. Okay. Great, great book. Yeah, go. I will it. get one. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Have a good one. Thank you Bye-bye. so much. I love you more. Thank you. Love you, Faith. Tell your husband to call. Have a good one. Bye bye. Uh, Maria Grant on uh, Twitter. That's not a. That's not a book. Which one's not a book? It's a book. Perks of Being a It's a book. I have it. Same with Thrones. Oh, oh, you mean uh, Song of Ice and Fire? Is what I mean. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's go to Jack. Jack, line six. What's up? Hi. Hi. How can I help? Am I on? Yes, you are. <laughs> I am sorry. Uh, so uh, it's about being clingy. It's an odd one. Uh, it's about um, being clingy. Oh, being clingy. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, well, um, I'm not sure if like if I'm super clingy, but well, I think I am. And I, 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 I think I tend to drive away the guys that I date. Like oh, after you're a gay two, guy. three dates. Um, oh, yeah. I just, yeah. Yeah. Well, well, give me an example of your most recent clingy moment. And I want to know how bad it is. Well, 
Jack? Gosh, we're losing Jack on his cell phone. Yeah. Yeah, yeah go ahead. Um, tell me tell me the most recent episode of you being clingy. Uh, I think it's uh, just 20 minutes ago. Uh, what did you I do? Think it is, well, it's just, uh, I think it's, but it's too, I'm too forward. I'm too forward about uh, like trying to, you know, just get the fourth date, you know. I just, I wanted, um, to hug the guy. It's just that. It's just, I wanted to have sex, basically. And then, I, I think I'm being too forward. And then the guy is just, he's just busy at work, you know. And I, 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 I don't understand because clingy, you, you're, you're being clingy because you want to have sex? No, no, no. Uh, it's not because I want sex. It's maybe because I really like the guy. Okay. Yeah. Parang, parang it's about, parang, kasi I, I think I'm, I'm really picky with the guys I date. And then, and then like when I start realizing that I like them, I just become this like really clingy person. And I, I, I think it's, it leads to the, like, it leads to a downward spiral, I guess, of my dating Definitely. life. Definitely. Yeah, d- definitely. Uh, I mean, it, it really will, especially early on. Um, so what's the question? Well, what is the like? What's the saktong saktong level of being just you know okay lang and not being clingy or needy? You know, well, do, I just do want you have to know, a lot but, of friends? Do you have a lot of friends like you hang out with? Like, do you have a regular barcada group of people that you you hang out with? Well, um, no. Well, I I, yeah. I do have a barcada, but because the 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 work they do, the work they do is parang they have nine to five jobs. I'm a flight steward. I don't have the regular weekends, you know. So we don't yeah. get to hang out that much. It's because that's what I that's what I, I mean, think. The, the the reason why I'm asking that is because I, I have a feeling well, I'm listening to your voice here, and now that I know you, uh-huh. you're a flight attendant, that uh, I I think you spend a lot of time being lonely, and the reason why you're clingy to these new guys that you meet and that you like is because you really want company that much, and that's why I ask you: Do you yeah, have a barcada yeah. that you reg- you you have a barcada? Do you regularly go out with? Because if you do, it will help you with your clinginess. That if you dedicate certain nights to this guy and then you date certain nights to your barcada, because well, instead what you're doing is you meet a guy, you like him, and you want to be with him every day now because he fills this need, yeah. the need to not be lonely anymore, and you like him. And I mean, you legitimately like him, but you want him around all the time right away because, say, you're, you're a little lonely. Mm-hmm. Now, if you had friends, yeah, well. they will, they'll be able to help fill that need, but you don't because you're always on a plane. So yeah, it's about it. yeah. yeah mm-hmm. so I, I really think what you need to do is well, well, the first step, which is admitting that you have a clingy problem, you, you, you know this, and that's great. And you'll learn the lesson when you keep losing these people, that you have to step mm-hmm. back. Because it's sayang, eh, diba? uh, uh-huh. Jack, kanina, you know, you meet a guy, alam mo naman clingy ka, tapos gagawin mo pa ulit, mawawala lang yung boy. <laughs> So really try to put a stop to it. Get involved in things that will not make you so lonely and needy. Like f- mm-hmm. try to get friends who have the same schedule as you. Try to get involved maybe in activities and hobbies that you can do on your own so you're not always wanting to be around this person. And then make time for them every now and then. It'll really kind of help keep that guy in your life. Because yeah. you really you you you're, 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 yeah. you want attention. You think KSP, but you want his attention all the time because you're so bored and you're lonely <laughs> and you don't have friends. If you if you have friends, they will be able to make you less lonely. Hence, you're less less of a need for the guy that you like. Does that make sense? Oh well, yeah. Yeah, it makes it. Actually, um, I just want um, some sort of confirmation because I've been talking with some of my friends and then I, I I said the same thing that you said. Although I just want to hear uh, 
a third, fourth person, I guess. Yeah, yeah. I mean, uh, again, I went straight to your barcada, and this has right away because I, I had a feeling that that's where it's where it's going. So, if I can go ahead and guess that and feel that from you right away, and that's in fact something you've addressed before with your other friends, then that's probably going to be it. Like, I don't know you. Mm-hmm. I don't know what you do. I don't know. You know I, I know now what you do, but I don't really know how you carry yourself. My very first thing was, where's the friends? Because if the friends are there, you're going to be less clingy and less needy for that person. Now, hold on. Are you an international flight attendant or, or domestic? Um, yeah, it's mixed. Some uh, Later, I have a flight to summer domestic. And then this weekend, I have uh, summer in Asia. So it's it's mixed. Yeah. Yeah, Because I, I just feel like the domestic is worse for you. Because you're doing mm-hmm. daily, the, the domestic um, schedule is not a good thing for you. Because that means you, it, it's a very tiring thing. Like oh, doing yeah. Yeah, yeah. the, say, the ilo ilo, then you have to be back to Manila. And then you're going to do that three more times within the day. When you get back to Manila, mm-hmm. you're like, what happened? You know, like your, your head's spinning. It must be. Because doing the local flights <laughs> suck. Uh, the international stuff will probably be best for you because then you can get a change of scenery. You, you, you know, you, it's it's a less lonelier feel because there's, you know, it, it's it's always a constant change of scenery. I, I think that'd be mm-hmm. that's, that's better for you. So maybe if you get bumped up to where you're only doing international flights, it'll kind of help out with your feeling so lonely and stuff like that. Okay. There's nothing like landing Although, in another country and not understanding the language and stuff like it. Really takes your mind <laughs> off of whatever loneliness you're feeling. Yeah, it's a bad guy. Um, right. and anything else? Well, I'll. Um, also, the previous caller, uh, she is, she was asking What's for a like a, a book. Um, yeah, what do you got? Well, yeah, I think she should read. Uh, I agree with the uh, perks of being a wallflower. Really good book. Yeah, and um, I sh- I think she should start uh, the Song of Ice and Fire. Yeah, man. Yeah. Whew. It's, but it's a tough read. <laughs> the Thrones is a difficult read, man. Well, uh, uh, Actually, I haven't I haven't started uh, reading the Game of Thrones, the first book. I'm only reading. Uh, are you familiar with the um, the Once in Future King? It's a the one. It's parang, it's the Once in Future King. It's parang, no, what is it? Oh, right, right. When he's telling us he lost them. Um, thanks for the call, Jack. I'll look it up though. Definitely. Um, let's go to Maris, twenty one, Quezon City, on line five. Hi, Maris. Maris, uh, disconnected. What? Oh, this really? Shit. Um, all right, let's take a break then. Let's try to get her back because that's a good question. We also have Hervey in uh, Singapore that I'd like to talk to in a little bit. We have Tasha, one of our regular callers, the eighteen-year-old in Alabang. She'll she'll be on the show right after this commercial break as well. Taking a taking a short short commercial break. When we come back, more of your questions. Good times, more of the podcast season two. Brought to you by Globe. Our phone number four seven eight seven nine five four Skype. The Good Times Podcast. Text us 1981 See you guys in a few minutes. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes may mga bigla ang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. 
Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drug stores and supermarkets nationwide. Take a little sunshine. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. I was dared through boss man to uh, to eat a spoonful of not sugar but cinnamon. So you guys, um, I don't cower down to a challenge. I take them wholeheartedly and with spoonfuls. And I'm going to take a spoonful of cinnamon. I saw this okay. on a thousand ways to die, and the guy died. <laughs> <laughs> it was so sad. <laughs> Wow. Okay, now say chubby bunny. <laughs> <laughs> I want to go with your lip. Jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, jaundice does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so jaundice, and I am now happy to present to you. Carlo Tayo! Look at me, the third! Tommy Tayo! Gusto mo yung snacks? Ano ba to? Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti! Ay! Tapos! Dito ba? Pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ayan na. Para sa show mo, ha? O. Aray ko! Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pan-nose line? Okay, may caution. A caution! Caution! Mas na nag-glamour te! When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. Aburahin na, aburahin na siya. Oh my God! Te! Sorry, ma. Mas na talaga! Ito talaga? Pwede bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap niya. Dapat pala, caution mo na yung pinakasin Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. That show. Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. 
We talk about, oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina and like a double blow job. Vagina. Who is the asshole that decided to shave this shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about it's like when you guys like high-fiving on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. But not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on Tuesday. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show here on this Thursday night, Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Phone number 478-7954. Skype the Good Times podcast. Text us 0927-214-1981. Yes, in fact, I brought it up earlier. We have other podcasts that we are cooking up ready to go in the works so if you enjoy this one well it's not going to be a lot like this one it's going to be very different actually very very different but i'm pretty sure you're going to enjoy it just as much as well so please uh when we announce the titles and the release dates and all that stuff support it as much as you as you've supported this podcast go on itunes download them subscribe to them they're a whole lot of fun and i have no doubt they're going to be among the bigger shows online at least in the philippines all right, let's get some more of these calls. Remember, don't forget, uh, t t tonight, later tonight, you're going to get your chance at winning a prize that you choose. We're doing that for you guys. Tonight. So good luck for our caller of the night. All callers, though, win still three movies each from clickplay.ph. Let's talk to Maris here, who's got an interesting question. Maris, you're on line five. You're 21 years old in Quezon City. How are you, love? What's up? Hi! Hi, Mo! Hey! We're doing hi, great! Maris. Actually, Maris... Hi! Maris is here, but I don't... Um, I don't want to talk to you. So, I'm going to tell you that I'm her best friend. Ah, okay. You're her spokesperson. Okay. Well, I'm reading yes. a question here. Uh, what's your name? My name's Nadine. Oh, hi, Nadine. Uh, I'm reading the question here. It says... The guy said that he liked Maris, but he left her after he came on her? Like, he came physically, like, ejaculated on her and then left? No, not really ejaculated on her. What happened is, um, na-meet niya yung guy, and then dinala niya sa bahay namin. Tapos, um, kasi we live in the same house. So, uh, okay. dinala niya sa bahay namin for a few times. Tapos, um... So parang hindi natatapos yung guy. And then finally, nagpaturo siya sa akin kung paano mag which I'm very proud of. Natutunan ko sa'yo yung screwdriver thing. And then... Ah! <laughs> yeah! And does it work? Then, um... Hold on. Wait, time out, time out, time out. Nadid, does my blowjob technique, does that work? It works as in 90% of the so, time. Except na lang pag may maliit talaga. Ha? Pero... Um, <laughs> kasi walang space para mag-screwdriver. Pero, um, in any oh, case, it, it wait, 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 time out, time out, time out, time out, time out. Hold on one second. So, I, w on this podcast, uh, months ago, maybe, we, uh, we gave you tips on how to give a better blowjob. Nadine goes out and starts blowing guys, and she says it works well. And then she met a guy in, uh, who had a small dick, and it, she can't do the technique because the penis was too small. Yeah, I couldn't. Kasi That's awesome. Mag, so, walang space para mag-screwdriver. <laughs> oh, I love you, Nadine. I want you to be, I want you to be my future ex -wife. This is great. I'm just really All right. honest. Okay, well, no, I, so I, I appreciate it. <laughs> anyway, so go anyway, ahead. So, anyway, ito si Maris. Um, so, kinwento, uh, tinuruan ko siya. And then, dinala niya ulit sa bahay namin that night. Tapos, um, nung dumaba siya sa kwarto, sabi niya, uh, nilabasan na. 
Tapos sabi ko, eh di maganda. Ano ba sa nag, nag-work yung um, yung yung lip ni Mo Fester. And then, uh, so sabi niya, um, parang eh di okay na. So, dinutuan ko pa sila ng breakfast and everything. Tapos kasi yung guy, schoolmate ko. So, nakikita ko siya sa school. Ang, ang tawag dito, so dinutuan ko sila ng breakfast and then he left na. Tapos after nun, hindi na siya kinontact as in. Yeah. Well, that's uh, th- that happens um, where a guy just wants to have sex with you and then leaves. Um, Maris, I'm sorry that that happened to you because um, it's really. I mean, it it must it feels bad. I'm, I know it feels bad, but you have to know that that's really if you're if you're getting involved in casual sex, that almost is the reality. Especially like okay, nakilala mo yung boy. Inuwi mo sa bahay, nag sex kayo. What do you expect to happen after? You guys are not, you guys are not boyfriend girlfriend. The majority yeah, of the yeah, time, the guy's not gonna contact you anymore unless he wants to have screwdriver blowjobs. No, oh, sorry, sorry, Maris, Maris, when did this happen? Kailan nga ito? Uh, this happened last uh, one month na siyang hindi kino contact nung guy, so oh, medyo yeah. um nagpapanik na rin siya ng konti, konti konti lang. Um, kasi the problem is kasi parang ang sabi niya sa akin, bakit daw ganun? Bakit yung mga guys hindi nagsistay sa kanya? Don't have sex with them And too early. I'm sorry. Don't have sex with them too early. Maris. Miyaya naman re- yung mag, ano eh, mag-lunch date kaso hindi pumayag. Because you already sa- blew him. You already okay, before, did. Listen. Listen. Okay, 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 Maris, uh, Nadine, what I'm telling you right now is I'm going against the bro code. The bro code says I'm not supposed to talk girls out of giving casual blowjobs. Like guys who are listening to the show right now and you're going, Mo, don't give away our secret. I'm sorry, guys. I have to give away the secret because I care about my female listeners maybe even more than I care about my male listeners because my female listeners are always better callers than the guys. That being said, You have to not do this thing where you bring guys home, give him screwdriver blowjobs, go outside the door, and then go to your friend. Ano? Lumabas? Lumabas na yung 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 tamod? Yay! You know, it's not. Uh, that's that's not how you're supposed to carry yourself. <laughs> yeah, What the, would you suggest? Okay, you're not supposed to carry yourself that way. I suggest you have meaningful conversation, meaningful experience, many dates. Before you have sex with the guy, because why would he want you to be his girlfriend when all you did was meet him, bring him home, blowjob him with your friends around, and then why would he think your girlfriend material? You're sex material, and he should only be sex material. Don't also win over guys by sleeping with them. I don't want you to do that, Maris, and I don't want you to do that, Nadine. Halimbawa, there's a guy that you like. Gusto mo maging boy, uh, uh-huh. maging girlfriend niya. Do not have sex with him to do that. You don't like. I okay. I want you to have sex with him, not right now. Wait a little bit. Because all he thinks is a. This is casual. B. It's so casual that why would this girl be my girlfriend? So brang casual. I'm not saying make the guy work for it. I want him to trust his instinct about you and that you're a good person and that you can be a girlfriend one day. Does any of this make sense? It does. does. Make sense? Pero... But I have, a, I, have a fe- I have a feeling I'm not, uh, in, I'm not explaining it well. Um, hold on. How do I explain it best for you guys? Uh, okay, the greatest thing in life for a guy is having a girl bring him to her house after she meets him and gives him a blowjob. That's the greatest thing that can happen to us. But at the same time, we understand that that girl, there is no way we're going to make her a girlfriend. She's just, she's not, I mean, I don't trust her. I love that she did this and I would love to have it done again But this is casual sex. There's a big difference between casual sex and girlfriend sex. So I want you to have girlfriend sex if you want this guy to stick around, not casual sex. 
He, I mean, if you want to, ha- listen, Maris, Nadine, if you want to have yes. blowjob practice with the guy, and go, oh shit, may bagong may bagong uh, gimmick si Mo sa sa tite. Sige, try natin. You go find the guy and you do that. Then fine. No, that's good. But don't make it a guy that you want in the future. Don't make it a guy that you want as a boyfriend because you'll never get him with that behavior. Like if you said, okay, Mo, I so- want to blow you. Uh, like, Mo, can we give you a blowjob? And I'm going to go, why do you want to give me a blowjob? And then Nadine, you go, because I want to practice. I'll go, okay, here's my dick. But if you told me, Mo, I want to give you a blowjob. And I go, why? Because I really like you and I want you to be my boyfriend. I'll be like, no, I'm not going to, you can't give me a blowjob. Or I'll say, yes, you can give me a blowjob, but I'm not going to be your boyfriend. So okay, my so point is... Okay, so you're just saying that we can only do the screwdriver practice thing yes. on people that we don't like. Yes, you do it on guys that you just want to bang or practice on. You don't want to do it on guys that you really like. Those are the guys that you go out on dates with first, you talk to first. That You know, you really have to get some sort of meaningful connection so he'll stay. This guy who banged you, Maris, banged you and left. That's what all the guys are going to do in your life if you treat them casually. Now, if you, if you, blew, if you gave a blowjob to someone you didn't like, you're not going to care if he doesn't call you in one month. The only reason why you care that he's not calling you is because you like this guy. Hello? You see, Nadine, hold on. Nadine, the guys that you blew with my new system yeah. here, uh... Did you really, really like them? Yeah. Like sobrang crush mo, or, or it was a casual fubu thing? Yung crush pero walang kung walang pupuntahan. Na um yung tipong ang ano kasi it happened na then na uh, um hindi ko siya gusto at first and then window job and then gusto mo na siya. You know that parang may attachment na yun yung sinasabi ni yeah, Maris na nangyari. Yeah. Yeah, that's the problem with the girls, though, because sex is such an emotion. There's such an emotional connection for females when it comes to that. And that's why you, that's why I, as much as possible, I don't want you to have casual sex as much as possible. Because you're the type of girl that can. Well, I love you too. You can blow me anytime. Uh, there There are certain girls that once they have sex, they're really attached. So I don't want you to have irresponsible sex. I want you to have, I don't want you to have casual sex. I want you to have sex with, with your boyfriends. You're not, you're not equipped to have casual sex. Look, look at uh, uh, Kat Alano yesterday. Remember, I, she said, yeah, she has uh-huh. stuff because look how mature she is about her sexuality. She can handle that. You, on the other hand, Maris, you can't handle that. So I don't want you to have casual sex. Does that make sense now? Uh, you get what I mean? You're it, not it the type sense. of person yes. uh-uh. who can do it. Makes it makes sense and she's smiling. Yeah. Yes, it's making sense though. Yes. So how many, oh, Nadine, how many people have you slept with? Be honest. How many people have you had sex with? Blowjobs included. <laughs> really? Honestly? Honestly. How old are you? First of all, how old are you? We are both 21. Okay. How many boys have you blown or have sex with at 21? Blown, I think, more or less, more or less ten. Sorry, okay, nice. that's me, not you. No, more hey, or less ten. But... And then si Maris, wait, ilan na ba? Two. Si Maris do two. See? Okay. And ako see kasi that... more or less ten. Okay, see, and you see the difference between both of your personalities. You're the girl that can talk about it. You're the spokesperson for Maris. It's because you're, you're advanced. I bet you you can give a blowjob to a guy and not be co- uh, emotionally connected to him. You can probably do that because you're you're an advanced state of mind regarding sex. So 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 Nadine, you can have casual sex. I I allow you to have casual sex. Maris, wagmuna, you know, medyo slower yeah, pace for I'm you. Allowed. But, uh, yeah, you, uh, yeah, I'm Nadine, allowed, you're allowed. To, yeah, you're allowed to blow, bitch. Exactly. You could put your vagina on cleft lip, no problem. <laughs> Nadine, uh, you're, you're blessed. Uh-huh. Now, Maris, I only want Maris to have sex with guys that medjo either boyfriend or really close MU kind of style until you get a few more under your belt, literally and figuratively, and then you can start behaving like Nadine <laughs> in the future. 
Just wag muna. Kasi I, I, I don't want you to get broken hearted and stuff like that. Mo well, virgin kami pareho. Ow! I'm sure. Virgin kami pareho. <laughs> really? You only give blowjobs? Yes! <laughs> wow. That's yes. awesome. Yes, kasi ako kasi yung mahilig mong detail. And... <laughs> Eh, medyo ano awesome. kami, hindi namin gustong isuko ang bataan unless it's, it's, yun talaga yun. Kasi, I know kasi for, for a fact na kapag, for example, if you and I had sex, you would make a mark on my life and I would remember you forever. And I don't uh, want to have sex with people that I don't want to remember forever. Okay, so you're a little bit still on Nadine's kind of mentality, which is, I'm going to be super connected with the first. And that's true. And that's a very good point. So I, I'm glad. I'm glad that you carry yourself this way, Nadine. And I'm glad that Maris is the same way. You guys are going to save yourself for someone you really care about. But in the meantime, you want to have fun. You know, you, you, you want to give a little a couple of blowjobs. You want to know what that's like. Now, what do they do for you, though? These guys that you blow, do they, do they at least do something for you? Do they give you you nga mo. They... Yun ang sabi ko sa kanya. <laughs> Yun ang sabi ko sa kanya. Hindi siya na finish in all of the times that they were together. Hindi siya na finish. The guy, you mean the guy didn't do anything for her? No. He did something pero hindi yung hindi yung orgasm type of ano. He fingered yeah. her pero yun na yun. Wala oh, lang. Wala Mar- na yun. Mar- Mar- Maris. Ah, nag-oral Maris. daw. Nag-oral daw. Nag-oral na. Maris, it's okay. You're You're new. You're learning. Please, next time, make sure that you get an orgasm first and then you give him the blowjob, okay? Because he will do it. He will definitely do it if, if you give... He has to be the one who gives you one first, though, okay? And he'll do it. Okay, okay. Right. Okay, Dao. All right, well, I have one more question. Yeah, go ahead. What would you suggest pag maliit yung dick? Paano yung screwdriver yun? Kasi I tried... Okay, Wag, wala ka na dito, Maris. <laughs> yung, yung, ano, yung, kasi tinry ko kasi yung maliit, di ba? And it was small. Yeah. Like, sure, di ba, yung sure. kamay, wala siyang space para mag-move. As in, sakto lang yung That's kamay right. ko pagdating doon. Tapos, yeah. parang, um, hindi ko siya masa-screwdiver kasi that would take two hands. That's right. So, parang, feeling ko kasi pag hinila ko, I would be pulling the entire thing kasi walang space mag-move. That's right. Well, you so, can deep yun? throat... You can deep throat um, because it's a small penis, and that's always a good move for him. Like, the, you know, at least for his confidence, he's like, okay, you can deep throat. Even though, in fact, it's not truly deep throating you because it's small, it'll give him the impression that, you know, that that's awesome. Um, try to, okay, when, when the penis is in your mouth, try to get, like, the head part to rub against the top of your mouth while you're blowing him. So he kind of gets like a double sensation, which is he gets your tongue and, and the rest of your you know moist mouth around his whole penis, but then the head can kind of graze against the top of your mouth, you know the roof of your mouth. It, it'll add like uh-huh. a second tier of uh, of sensation for that smaller penis. I mean, if it's a big oh, penis, okay, okay. you can still do it, but you might get a choke. You might get like a gag reflex out of it. But with a smaller one, you can kind of let the, the, the head of the penis slide against the top of your mouth. And that's always a little nice of a sensation for you as well. Okay? All right. Thank you, girls. Okay. Mary says thank you, and we love you, Mo. I love you too, both of you, very much. Mm-hmm. Thank you, girls. And I can't Bye-bye. listen to the morning show anymore, and that's too bad. But I'm looking forward to when you come back, huh? Yes, we will come back. Thank you, love. Thank you. Bye, kids. I treat them like my sisters, my little sisters. That's all. Yeah, man, the roof of the mouth thing, by the way. Don't, uh, that's a good move. For, for girl, girls, if you're listening, that's a really good move. You can definitely do that. Um, are we going to Singapore now, uh, Hoogie? Or are we going to – do we got Singapore up? I'd like to take a Singapore call. If not, we can go to uh, Alabang here. Uh, we're we're How calling say you guys? now Singapore. Calling Singapore. Oh, the Singapore one. We, we, okay. Well, wait, in the meantime, while you're calling him and getting him ready, I, I, I just like that call next. Um, here's a first from our friends at Globe. 
Uh, recently, Globe Telecom has just unveiled the use of a new technology that can give them stronger network sig- uh, signal to their subscribers, and this is called ODAS, or O-D-A-S, which stands for Outdoor Distributed Antenna System. It actually is the next best alternative to building those uh, towering cell sites, and Globe, being a company who constantly strives for innovation and great service, is actually the first telco company to use such a technology. Now, uh, this system supports all frequency bands and LTE uh, technology, therefore providing stronger support for mobile data service. Thanks to Globe, their subs can now look forward to can look forward to experiencing improved signal and connection through the new ODAS ODAS antennas. Sounds great. Let's go to Singapore and talk to Harvey. Harvey, you're 29 years old. Online five. What's up, Harvey? Is it Harvey or Harvey? I think we lost Harvey. Guys, did we lose him? Uh, yes. Pull that. No. Oh, okay, never mind. Let's take the next one. Let's talk to, uh, let's talk to, hmm, who's this? Laika, 27 years old, Kazan City. Hi, Laika. You're on line six. Hi, hello. What's up, Laika? Um, how can we help you? Hi, Mo. How are you? I'm very, very well. Thank you very much for asking. How are you? Okay, I am, first of all, I am 27, and I've been dating this guy for seven years already. Yesterday it was the only time that I asked him where he thinks our relationship's going. And he gave a non comical right. answer and he said that he's not really into planning and that makes me think whether he's ever going to marry me. Uh yeah, of uh, like uh, first of all I want you to know that um that that's a very legitimate question to ask him. And don't ever think that you're nagging him or anything like that. That's a legit question. And, and, and it's just the reason why I say that is because so many people sometimes like you know don't don't give him ultimatums. Don't uh, pressure him. No, you pressure him and you give him an ultimatum. Definitely, you ask about your future because we have to be realistic. You might want uh, many of you females want to settle down. You want to have families. And when you're 27 yeah. years old. And you're together with someone seven years, you goddamn well want to know what the what the plan is, what the five year plan is, what the ten year plan is. You need to know these things. So you have to have another conversation with him, and you have to get an answer that is going to help you plan your future. Because obviously you're looking for. He wants to settle down, get married with you, and stuff like that because you've been together seven years. Mm-hmm. But you have to be prepared that he says, "Oh, I don't think we're the. I don't. I don't think I'm the marrying type. I don't think I want to get married. I don't want to have a family right now. I want to wait a little longer." You have to be prepared that he's going to say those things, and you're going to be a little bit heartbroken when he says it. Mm-hmm. And then you have to prepare yourself to decide what to do after that. Like, are you willing to break up with this guy, no matter how long you've spent? I mean, you've been together since you guys were teenagers, thereabouts. How are you prepared to say goodbye to this guy? I'm not sure. I I love him. I want. I know that he loves me too. I'm just. I just think that when it comes to marriage, it's one of two things. It's He's ever the marrying type, or who is that? And when you find the person that you love and you want to be with, you just know that you want to marry that person. And I don't know where he falls into whatever category, but also to be fair with him, we both come from broken families. And I think that's also a big factor in him thinking that maybe if we marry, it might just end up like our parents. It's just for me, marriage is just paper, but it's also a validation of his love for me that he's not going to find an easy way out. And I completely agree with you. Here's what I want you to do, uh, Laika, is I want you to know that your opinion and your stand is just as important as his. Like, if he goes, I'm not the marrying type, I want to you to go, well, I am. Like, I want you to have a solid stand on this, and his opinion means no more than yours. Do you, do you get what I mean? Because if you put him in a powerful position 
where he's going to call the shots, you're not going to get what you want. Shit, we just lost her. Get her back, please. Mm -hmm. But you get what I mean? Like, if you, because if, if you start going, oh, we're not going to get married. Why? Well, my, my boyfriend's not the marrying type. Well, fuck, you're the marrying type, right? Yeah. Well, hold your ground on it. Tell him, hey, listen, we've invested this amount. I love you. I owe, I'm in love with you. And I want this relationship to take the next step. Now, if he's from a broken family and he thinks you're going to be a broken family one day, then what do you do? You tell him, well, I'm from a broken family. And I don't want that to happen again to me. And I, in fact, want to be in a successful family. That's why I'm asking you this. Your stand has to be as strong and assertive as his stand. Do not let it up. Do not, like, do not give him a little bit more than what you give yourself. And I hope that makes sense, Laika. When you talk oh, to him, please. I need you to get a real answer about what's going to happen. And I need you to be prepared to defend your stand. And I need you to also know that what he says might not be what you want to hear. And then you have to decide what, what the hell is what, – what are we going to do? Do you love him enough, um, Laika, that if he says no marriage and that's non-negotiable, do you love him enough to stay and never have a family? Just to say that, what if he breaks up with me when I'm 40? Then I will never have a chance again to get the guy that would love me. Exactly. I completely agree with you. That's why you have to, you have to make a future plan for yourself, not just for this relationship. You, ha you, you, you have to have a plan for you. And, and that includes if he says, oh, I don't want to get married. Then you have to go, okay, at least you know the answer. You go back to the drawing board and you think about it. And you go, shit, well, maybe I should think about breaking up with this guy. Maybe not today, but maybe you should start the foundation of eventually breaking up with him spending less time with him, doing less things, so that six months from now, you're better equipped. You get what I mean? It, it's an awful plan. It's diabolical. You're almost sabotaging your own relationship. But hey, I want you to do that if it means less heartbreak. I don't want you to cry. You're like you're crying tonight six months from now. So if you, if you talk to him, let's just say you and I are the ones, right? And I'm your boyfriend for seven years, and I have no intention of marrying you. I want you to go, Mo, I know I, I brought this up to you the other night, and it's been bothering me the, for the past few days. I want to ask you again, and I want a real answer. What's going to happen to us? I need a plan because I don't want to be like this forever, not just boyfriend, girlfriend. I know you come from a broken family. I come from a broken family, but that's what helps me drive to make, to make a family right. I want in my life to one time know what it's like to have a whole, complete, and intact family. I want that for myself. It's a goal. It's a goal because of what I went through. Now, if you think that it's impossible to have a family because you, went, you came from a broken family, that's your take on it. But my take is I, it's a challenge for me. And if there's one person in this world I want to have a family with, it's you. And if he says, sorry, not going to get married. Then you go, okay, well. Afraid. Yeah, uh, of course you're afraid. But don't break up with them yet. I want you to prepare yourself for a breakup down the line. But I'm and at least afraid it gives you... that I might force him into a decision that he's not really willing to do. <sighs> you're right. <laughs> but, you know, it is part of which is worse. Maybe I should just wait for a couple of months if things don't change. No, no, I Maybe say, I should think talk, about breaking up. Talk to it. him. Yeah, talk to him immediately. If he says no way that you guys are getting married, you should also take that as a sign that maybe he's not so excited about you. Maybe he doesn't. I mean, you, you told me he loves you. You know he loves you. But does he love you as much as you want him to? Does he love you enough to marry you? Because if I, if I was in love with you seven years, 
but this is just me and my values and my morals and the way I ha- we would be married. Especially if you ask me. If you go, hey, listen, what, you know, what do we do? Today? I'd be like, oh, okay, yeah, you know, that makes sense. Because it's selfish to think, it's, it's selfish to think that you wouldn't want that for yourself. Like, if you and I were together, Laika, and in seven years you, you ask me what our plan is, it would be selfish for me to only want, do what I want. That's selfish. Let's say I'm not the marrying type, but at least I know I love my girlfriend, and my girlfriend wants this. I'm going to – I'll do it for you. Yes, it's kind of like forcing me, but it's part of the relationship where I want to fulfill your desires as well and your goals in life. And if your goals in life means bending my rules, so be it. I love you. That's what I'm supposed to do. Does that make sense? So if he doesn't do any of those things, maybe it's a great sign that your boyfriend's not so awesome after all. And then in the next few months, you lay the groundwork for what could be a last ultimatum breakup. Okay. That's all. Good luck, my love. And I hope it works out for you. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Micah. And I really want, especially people from the broken families, man. Like, if you have that drive where you go, I'm from a broken family, and I don't want to be living like that for the rest of my life. And I want a fucking real family and stuff like that man god bless you and go out and 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 do your best to try to achieve that i would love it i would love it for you so you can experience it because sometimes those things man it ruins people for a long time especially what if you were seven years old your your dad left you for your family for another woman and all that man you imagine what kind of heartbreak that, that little girl goes through that she makes she makes it as a as a as a challenge that you know what i'm not gonna let that happen to me again god damn it well then you know Go, go out and do it, man. I want you to experience it. Um, Harvey, 29, Singapore, La, line five. What's up? Hello, La. <laughs> Hi, Hi Harvey. Good How evening. are you? Good evening. How can I help yes, you tonight? Okay. Yes, okay. Uh, yes. Actually, this is, my, this is my first time to call your show. So this is Thank my situation. Sure, okay. go ahead. I'm still a, I'm still a virgin, uh, Sagarda, when it comes to sex. And then... I want to try naman na uh, kaso pag nasa actual na medyo nahihiya si Junior tapos hindi na ako tigitikasan. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Then, um, yun, uh, parang parang uh, like, like for example dito pero hindi naman mga pa, mga pub house dito. Then pag yeah. uh, pupunta kami okay naman. Then kapag nato na kami dun sa room or private so, you know, wala na. Parang, and parang nakakahiya tuloy dun sa babae. Parang, sure. I need to pay her. Na parang wala namang nangyari. So, yun, um, parang mahirap naman sa part ko. Yeah, I, I, you know, the, the, I, there's only two things I can think of here. First of all, you know, you're, you're a gay guy. Pinipilit mo ba yung maging bisexual? Is that something yeah. that you're forcing yourself? Why? why? Why not just be full gay? Actually, yeah. Actually, ang, ang plan ko naman is magkaroon ng baby in the future. Kahit baby lang, kahit plan uh, mo. Okay. Basta so anak the, lang. Okay. So, so the only reason why you want to have sex with a girl is so you can have a baby. But you have no intention to be in love with a girl and all of these things. Like, you oh, are, in fact, no. only a gay guy. Okay, so that doesn't yeah, make yes. you bisexual. That doesn't make mm-hmm. you bisexual. It makes you gay guy. Gay guy who okay. wants to have a baby. All right. So... Uh... Oh, man, what do you tell this guy? Okay, let me ask you this, uh, Herbie. Why are you going to the pubs? Why are you going to this, uh, like, happy sauna places when you only want to impregnate a girl? You don't want to actually have sex with her. Why, why are you going to these places? Uh, actually, invite then ng mga office mates, ganyan, mga colleagues namin. Then, syempre, hindi naman din uh, alam din Discreet kasi ako. So, kung baga pakikisama. Ah, you're only going because the guys are doing it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, well, I suggest you stop going to these places because, l- listen, listen, uh, Hervey, if, let's say, uh, 
I can't really put myself in the, your situation because I won't have a bunch of guy friends that want to go to a macho dancer bar and then makikisama lang ako pumunta para sa But you get what I mean? If it happens that way, where all my barcada friends are gays and they want to go to Adonis and then they want to they wanna pay some boylets for blowjobs, I'm not going to be going, even if I'm discreet about me not being a gay guy, I'm not going to go. My, my advice is, is don't go. Don't go to the Good night up. outs when you know they're going to go to the to the brothel. Kaso, because kaso ka, I, because gusto ko na sanang i-try. Kaso nga lang, kapag nandun na sa actual nga, parang wala nang nangyayari. And, uh, you know, it, it could be anxiety. But I'm going to remove that from the equation because I feel like you just don't want sex with a girl. I mean, it's just not your thing. Like, mm-hmm. I will never get an erection when I'm gonna, if I'm going to have sex with a guy, ever. It's just not part of my makeup. It's not going to mm-hmm. happen. So, so, Harvey, stop trying to have sex with a female when you don't even like girls in that way. If you want to have a baby, down the line, find a friend of yours and, and you know, the both of you are willing to do this. Hey, you, you don't have a baby. Like, look at her last caller. She probably wants to have a baby. You know, you can do that. But find someone that's willing to sh- that, that, that shares this plan and, and this goal and then do it that way. To have sex with women when you don't want to have sex with women. You're, you're a fucking gay guy. Stick with dudes. Okay. You know, it, it, if you're vegetarian, don't force yourself to have a cheeseburger. You're just vegetarian. Like, there are a lot of things in life that if you're not that person, don't force yourself. If you're afraid of heights and you want to go, oh, okay, I'm going to jump off an airplane and, 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 and parachute because I, wanna, I don't want to be afraid of heights anymore. Guess what? You're still going to be afraid of heights. Mm-hmm. And you're going to be miserable when you're falling to the ground the entire time. I'm afraid of heights. I've bungee jumped thinking, oh, mawawala yung, yung, yung fear of heights. Guess what? I'm still fucking scared of heights. And what I did, the bungee jumping was a stupid idea because the entire time I was just terrified. And it wasn't fun at all because I don't like that shit. Okay. Do you get it? Yeah. Uh, stop having sex with women. You're a gay guy. Embrace your gayness and be open to your friends, man. Or at least... Start the process of when you're going to tell them, just so you could be yourself. I want you to be your true self around these people. <laughs> okay? All right. Good luck. <laughs> okay, thank you. Yeah. All right, Harvey. All right. Thank you. Bye-bye. All right. Bye. And, and see, okay, here's the thing. We, we, we get Harvey, this guy calling, and we're like, oh, well, you know, maybe he should, you know, well, at least he should know what it feels like. Oh, Yeah. What about a few months or a few weeks ago when the guy called the boy? He said, I was trying to have sex with a man to see if I was heterosexual. And we were like, what the fuck? Are you stupid? Why is it with that guy? We're so angry. And yet with this guy, we're like, "Ah, okay, maybe he just wants to have sex. No, it's the same, man. It's not meant for you. You don't like it. If you don't like it, you're not going to do it. Oh, my, 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 si Junior is not working. Of course it's not going to work. He has to be aroused. You have to have a sexual desire. You have to be sexually hungry, an appetite for something. If you look at a vagina and you're disgusted by it, why would you put your dick in it? Right? Makes sense. Why would you put your dick in something that you dislike? I'd rather put it in a banana or have my dog lick my balls. Taking a break. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Minsan may mga biglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. 
I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, marami na rin kaming napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin. I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. What you've been missing on the factory. Now we're going to show you guys the new beta that just came out yesterday. It's God of War Ascension, the private beta. For and PlayStation Plus. PlayStation Plus. Let's watch it, right? It's nice and we can play already. Yes. Yep. There you go. And perfect timing. <laughs> perfect timing. But before that, I was... I was kicking ass. <laughs> so go with the theme of the show, How Not to how Play. It's Robot Rice and Friends with Alfonso Martinez, Mickey Han, and Nigel Zalameo. Fridays, 6 to 7 p.m., only here on The Factory. And if you think call center work is easy, think again. Because if you want to get into the industry, you have to practice. Vladimir Vlad is the best pump if I have a bunch of fire and focus on the post for biking there. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, this is Mo Twister. Please watch The Call Center Show every Sunday, 6 p.m., only here on New Media Fact. What you've been missing on the factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was... <laughs> <laughs> I made it up! I made it up! I mean, this time of year, right? Elections... Uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not allowed we're able to, to verify all of these, them. James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs yeah. are planted. Yeah, and, yeah, and, and, yeah, and other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh yes, no! I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. It's just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, but Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, have to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Lord Deacon and the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here. On the factory. Then the maid got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. 
But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, John, <laughs> she does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so, John Tears. And I'm now happy to present to you Carlo Tayo. Look at me. Ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti. Ay, tapo. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Consigo. <laughs> Yan na. Para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to? Oil absorbing? Pwede pa itong pan-nose line? <laughs> Tita oh. Kay, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Ah! Basta ng glamour, te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Burahin na, burahin na siya. Oh my God! Damn! Sorry, ma. Pabasa ka ang gamot! Ito talaga. Hindi, bago yan. Don't worry. Buti ako sa mata lang. Hindi naman nagkakap niya. Buti dapat pala, caution mo na yung pinakin na yun. Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lulz every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. My girlfriend says she hates me. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the program here on this Thursday. Teenager time on the show. A bunch of teenagers ready to go on the program. They're on hold. They're up pretty late tonight on this Thursday. Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Season 2 brought to you by Globe. Last chance for your calls at 478-7954. Skype, The Good Times Podcast. Text us here, 927-214-1981. Tomorrow on the program, Friday, so we have uh, Angela Copter here on the show. She'll be making the drive out here to do the show. Um, but in the meantime, let's find out who's going to win some. I'm What I'm assuming is going to be the VIP Lincoln Park tickets tonight. I, I think that's the choice that most people will make, especially when you have young people, as many young people as we've had on the show tonight. Uh, let's go to a 16-year-old and talk to Maria. Maria, you are in Marikina, and you're on line five. What's going on, baby doll? Hi. Hey, Maria. Hi, Mo. And by the way, M Maria, so, you told me off air that you're the girl that was sending in tweets regarding mm -hmm. which books to read for Faith, who's in Qatar. I just want to thank you for mm -hmm. sending in some of those recommendations. We appreciate it very much. All right, what's up? Oh, baby. Um, so how do, I, how do I get a girlfriend? Oh, you're you're a lesbian. Well, go out um, and get one. I, I'm I'm out of the I don't know I don't know the game or something. I'm not sure. Oh, how to how to score I chicks? Um. Well, first of all, you're 16. Are is your family? Uh, do they know that you're a lesbian? No. And is that I'm not something that? I'm not making any. I'm not gay. Announcements myself or. Up. Yeah, okay. And is that going to be a problem in getting a girlfriend? Because, you know, there, there's obviously two hurdles here. There's one, if this is going to be your first homosexual relationship or first relationship at all, you know, yeah, you're going to need some tips on how to get chicks. There's the, there's the game thing that you need. And then number two is how do you keep it discreet? Because mm -hmm. I'm sure your family at this point are like, oh, Maria, 16 to nine, mga boys, <laughs> put us a bahay, mga yes, and all exactly, of that shit. Yes, exactly, exactly. Well, yeah, it's easier to sell. I mean, it's easier to be heterosexual than homosexual when you're 16 because then they're going to be shocked and like, what? What the? What the you know, all of this drama and all that shit. That that finding out you being gay or no, no, no. I mean, a a actually, I have to reprise that question. I'm not finding. I'm not looking for a girlfriend, but rather someone to you know. I don't know. I I mean, there's so many hormones right now rushing into. Sorry, Hello? wait, wait. Yeah. What's the question then? Yeah, what's the question then? Uh, not really a, gr a long time girlfriend, but rather well, you just want to have sex like with a girl, thing or something. Yeah. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. So you just want to. All right, you just want to have sex with a girl. Um, wait a minute. 
at 16, aren't there a lot at, at school? Like a lot of girls out there that are just kind of... I, I go to a school where we're all almost all girls and they're all butches. And I'm, I'm not... Oh, no offense oh, to all them. Yeah. Butch lesbians, but... Yeah, I'm not into those. Mm-hmm. Well... I just think and, and right I, now, I'm at sorry, 16... Sorry. Uh, I went to this... Yeah, sorry, I, sorry. I went to this workshop um, last yeah. summer and I met this girl. She's... And we, we became kind of friends and um, recently she invited me over and she said like, do you want to have a bubble bath? And I found out she's bisexual. And... Of course, she's not going to invite you a bubble bath if you... How come you didn't go? <laughs> and I was like, no, what? I, I didn't say, I didn't told her what, but it's it's mind boggling. Do it. I don't know. She's too American. I am American, but she's too American for me. Like she's. She, she's too what? She's too butchy. Too Amer- No, no, no. She's too American for me. I'm American, yeah, but, but Maria, she's too- remember. Yeah, okay, she's too forward and whatever. But Maria, remember what you told me, though, when this call started. You just wanted a fling. She's inviting you for a bubble oh. bath. Take the offer. It's only one time. And th- <laughs> but you have to know that you guys are going to have sex, though, right? Like, you know that that's what's going to happen. I know, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, but the, the thing listen, is, Listen, I've done the bubble involved. bath. I've done the bubble bath gimmick. Oh. Yeah, then but that's with that's a guy friend, up. with a girlfriend. Yeah, that's so. fucked up. If you do that, God damn it! I was so yeah, happy ex- and excited for you too. <laughs> I was like, yeah, bubble I, bath. I, Listen, I I've, done do I've done the bubble bath. I've done the bubble bath gimmick. Hold on, hold on. One second. I've done the. Listen, Maria. Okay, I know. God, I can't believe I'm 35. I'm 19 years older than you, and I'm going to talk, talk talk to you about this sex life, but. I've done the bubble bath thing where I asked the girl, hey, listen, do you want to have a bubble bath? And like me, bu- I mean, oh, a guy who offers bubble bath, how fucking fag is that, right? So I was like, hey, listen, you want to have a bubble bath? And she's like, okay. But, but we both knew that when we get into the bubble bath, the first thing we're going to do is have sex. But because I'm, I'm kind of like a puss, I can't, I can't just like, hey, baby, want to go back to my room? I just said, hey, listen, you want to take, you, do you want to have a bath? You want to have a bubble bath? And then she's, and I'm hoping she's going, yeah, like what? You want to come in, join with me? I'm like, sure. <laughs> you know, that's how I did it. And it worked for me. It worked for me rather well. Um, okay, so anyway, let's get back to it. And I can't, I keep I on think, being hit on by guys because, but I don't want them. Because so. you're pretty. Yeah. I don't know. I, I really I just think don't look right gay. now, at 16, I think the best bet is really finding one at school. Unless you're the type that goes out a lot at an early age, it really is your best kind of the, – the best chance that you're going to find someone. Most of the girls, like you said, at school are butch. If you, if you wait a while, I'm sure one will surface that you kind of like. Then there's the – one will surface that you kind of like eventually, I think. But if you can meet girls from other schools – then that would be great. And how do you meet girls from other schools? Getting involved in like maybe a sport, some sort of org where girls from other schools you can meet via other friends of yours and then you can pick from them. But I really and think that's the best way to is, go. Because I don't, I don't want you to get – wait, hold on. I don't want you to go online and find someone there, not when you're 16, too dangerous. So the best way to do it is network with other girls' schools. I'm not. I'm just. Uh, I saw a chat person here. He said, "I'd be Charisse, though." That's fucked up. Yeah, that's why. See, that's why I don't want you to do the online thing, man. Yeah, maybe. The, the, don't worry about the chat people, but don't don't fuck around with the online stuff. You need real people in front of you. You need to interact with these people, like face to face, before you pick who you're gonna have a fling with. I would have loved okay. you to do the bubble bath thing with this girl, but if she's dating a friend of yours, then yeah, that's fucked up. Sayang. Uh, network with other girls' schools. Like if the assumptions go with the Saints' schools and the Saints' schools go with the Povedas and all, you know, they have, sometimes they have these little like fucking volleyball tournaments or dance tournaments or cheerleading shit. That's where you're going to find these girls, man. If you don't like the ones in your school. 
Try another year. If you're fourth year, try to look for the lipstick lesbian in, in year three or year two. You know what I mean? You can do that as well. Yeah, I'm but a I say ne- Oh, dude, there are seniors and juniors out there that are, would, would definitely want to bone you. Look for them. <laughs> look for them. I'm serious. You know, you know, another problem of mine is that I, ride a, I occasionally ride the LRT. And yeah. I, <laughs> I have this problem where I keep I just keep checking girls out, and I know it's it's become habitual of me. It's become habitual. Yeah, no, that's but, fine. We guys guys check out girls all the time everywhere at the malls. Girls check out guys all the time. That's normal, man. Maria, you're fine. You're fine in that. In the in the. Uh, I yeah. just live in this world where where everyone is accepted, and when I go out there, I forgot that, you know, most of the girls are straight. So. Yeah, well, that's. That's the challenge of both lesbians and homosexuals and gay guys anyway. It's like, yeah, the guys that, a lot of the guys that you like are straight guys. A lot of the girls that you like are straight girls because that's what, you know, they're your type. The ones that doll themselves up, th- themselves up or the guy that, you know, is classic handsome and, and, and muscular, athletic and all that stuff. They, they tend to be, you know, they tend to be straight guys. So, yeah, that's the challenge. But you have it easier. I think lesbians have it easier because you can get a straight girl. You know, but that's down the line, Maria. We're talking seven, eight years down the line. Right now, as of today, and you're 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 you're, you're teenage horny and all of that stuff. Work the school, yeah, yeah. work the school, please. That's the way I want you to go. It's too dangerous everywhere else when you're this age. If you're 18, different story. 16, find the girl in your class. Find the girl in the in the sister school. Or if you have friends of yours that you can open up to, like like lipstick lesbian friends that you can open up to or even just other girlfriends who can introduce you to other girls from other schools. But, yeah, you know, comparable yeah, that's why you schools. have to plug me up on your Twitter. Oh, fuck yeah, man. No, 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 I can't because you're 16, man. I, I, I don't want the online people to feast on you. It's too dangerous. But if I knew a bunch of teenager lesbians that I would definitely introduce you to so you guys can network. Yes, please. That's the key. All right? All right, Maria. Okay. Sayang, say, the bubble bath, man. Shit. I know. Oh, and was, yeah, yeah. Uh, the other, I was, I was trying to call you the other day because I have the story where my friends, their boyfriend, girlfriends, but they, they say they are in a open relationship, and this guy is kind of boning the girl that asked me to a bubble bath. So. Mm. Well, if that's the case, if they're in an open relationship, and you can confirm that, then take, take yeah. this girl on that bubble bath uh, invite. Because, again, even though she's not your type to McGee girlfriend for a long time because she's too American or whatever, at least it's good enough for a fling. You like her already a little bit, like you said. Yeah, why not? Let her, let her scrub your back and your front. <laughs> okay. All okay. Right? Okay. All right, Thanks. baby. Good luck. Good luck, Maria. Rock on. Thanks. Thanks, Omar. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. Bye-bye. Like that girl. Uh, Tasha, one of our regular callers, 18 years old, Alabang, line one. Hi, Tasha. Thanks for holding. You've been on hold for two hours. Hello. You've been on hold for two Hello. hours, love. Sorry. Thank you for being Are, on hold. It's okay. Hello. What's up, baby? Yes. How can we help you? Okay. Well, I have a question. Um, wait, wait one minute. Hello? Well, yeah. Go yeah. ahead. Um, I have this guy, best friend, who I've known for so long already. And like since we were third grade. Yeah, you're so good. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 Tasha, Tasha, hold on one second. I don't understand. Uh, I don't hear you clearly. Do you have a? Hello? Yeah, I know you're on a cell phone here, so it's gonna be a little bit of a challenge. So, you have a guy friend that you've known forever, and what? Yeah, and we we lost contact like for two years, and he started. Uh, no, just for a year, just for a year, and then we started to talk again. Last month, but my question was, right since since he knows my story, like he knows everything. He was actually he's actually my best friend, and my problem now is every time we talk, like we FaceTime or or cause, or in any conversation, like through text or even in person, he always ends up with saying, I love you and I really care about you and all that. But I don't know if he means it the romantic way. But my problem now is I I like him. I really do. And 
I think I, I'm not really sure, but I think if just if ever I'm 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 really, I'm really gonna have a boyfriend. I think he is the only guy my dad's gonna approve of, because my dad knows his dad. But the quest, but the thing here is, I also am afraid to tell him because it might be a risk. But at the same time, he has this bad past which I've known, and he actually told me himself, and I don't really know. Uh, Hello. Wow, that's a lot. Yeah, that's that's like five issues in one. Uh, this is uh, this is complicated. Yeah. No, it's okay. I mean, it, it's fine. It is what it is. Okay, let's start with yeah. the, I love you and I really care about you. The I love you, I really care about you. That sounds like he likes you uh, in that way. But you can always ask him easily. Do you mean it in a boyfriend girlfriend? I love you, or do you mean it like in a brother sister? You can, you can no. say that. Would it would it be a risk because he might think now? I she's very assuming, pala, and you know. Of course not. Parang, no. Okay. Yeah, no. Okay. I mean, come on. He he's putting "I love you" and "I care about you," and then you're gonna supposed to misinterpret that. Of course you might. Okay, because I mean, like we're, we've been so close, like we've known each other for so long, and we tell each other almost everything, though we don't get to see each other all the time. Yeah, but don't so, don't worry about that part. Let, 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 like I said, let's take it one step at a time. Find okay. out how, what he means. Find out what he means because the thing is, right now, your 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 follow up questions, which is how do I tell my dad? Because he might be. You're not even. You don't even know yet how your friend feels. So okay. if you if you find uh -huh. out first what your friend feels, and let's just say he says, "Oh, I love you like a sister," then all of those other problems that you have with your dad really don't exist. Because then he's not going to be your boyfriend. You, you get what I mean? So find out first okay. what he means by the I love you and I care about you. And then if he tells you he loves you like romantically and you know wants a relationship, then you go, okay, well, we have a problem. What about my dad? What about the, you know, then you have other problems. But find out first because mm -hmm. that's step one. I don't want you to go okay. off and, and then assume other things when you don't even know this part yet. Oh, okay, right? okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So, so you know, mm -hmm. ask him, and you're okay to ask him, and and don't worry about him judging you about you assuming too much and stuff like that. It's, I mean, you guys are saying very powerful words. I love you. I really care about you. He says it all the time. Mm -hmm. It's. Or, uh, no, I'm thinking maybe is it words, not. Man. That's. What, I mean, I feel it. Like I know because sometimes during the times we were together, he he told my hand and all that, and to me, I I feel special, but. Something, but it makes me think, like, is he doing this because of my situation right now? He just wants to comfort me or he really wants to be with me? Yeah. That's what you I ask know. him. You can, you, can, you can totally ask him that, and that's completely justified. He'll be fine with you asking. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Hey, good luck. All right. I hope, I hope he, I hope he uh, likes you in that and, way. And then after that, you, know, have one more question. you have to talk to him about what to do. Yeah, go ahead. Um, like my situation with my dad, um, because you know what happened, right? And we're not really okay. Like we are not really okay at all. But there are times, like there are days, where he he asks me how I am. He makes sure I eat something. He checks on me in my room, and all that. Those times, like he makes me feel like he loves me, and I and in my mind, I feel like okay, he's forgiven for what he did, but. When he does not do those things, I kind I, I I really hate him. Like eighty percent of the time, I hate him so much. So my question is, how do I not feel this way? How do I, how do I establish a a, a concrete feeling towards my dad that I don't confuse myself to? I I think with the situation with your dad is you have to tr try to try not to look for reasons to love him. Uh, try not to look for hope. I think you've been disappointed too many times with your family that you're searching and you're searching for for hope, and then all of a sudden you're just going to get your heart broken again because you have shitty parents. Like your parents sure. fucking suck, right? So the more you, the more they break your heart, the, the more they break your heart, the more bad you're going to feel. So don't give them a chance to break your heart. Don't look for moments where you think he's doing something nice when you already know. A week from now, he's going to do something awful. 
because then you're just you have this roller coaster of a ride of a life. You have the roller coaster mm-hmm. type of uh, household environment. At this point, mm-hmm. oh, this is my opinion. At this point, I would just like conclude my parents are fucking nuts and they're losers and they hate like they're just they're just awful. And mm-hmm. in a few years, you're out of the house and you don't have to go back to them anymore, okay, or you so don't have to be he- close to them. Okay, so when he does something good, like, and tells me things, I will just ignore him. I won't say anything back, or I won't no, reciprocate you anymore. No, you, no, you don't. You don't. You don't ignore him. You you can reciprocate. When he goes, are you are you feeling okay? Yeah, I'm okay. Thanks. That's it. I don't want you to be hopeful that that move oh, okay. is something that he can be forgiven for. Then for all the the other shit that he's done. You get what I mean. Okay. You can be civil with him, but don't get your hopes up because they're just gonna fucking break your heart again. Okay, okay, okay. I, I get it. Okay, right. thank you, Mel. Right. Good, good luck. Thank you. Good luck, Tasha. Thank, thank you. Bye, bye. I mean, a, a lot of people might not agree with that advice. Like, hey, listen, your parents are reaching out, and to your parents, you're supposed to love them. Hey, if your parents suck, if your parents are assholes, and in a situation like that where she's gonna try to hope and look for something that says, oh yeah, you know what, maybe they are good people, but they're not good people. You could be cordial. If he goes, are you hungry? You go, yes, no, whatever you feel. But don't go, oh, my God, he just asked me if I'm hungry. Does that mean he's a good guy and I can forgive him for all the shit that he's done? Of course not. He's still a motherfucker. And and, and then if you hope that he's going to be good and you think he's changed and you think he's better, all of a sudden, guess what? He's going to molest you again. Right? He's going to do something awful. No. He's an ass. Forever. Just wait. Just wait there, Tasha. Do your time at home. Get out. Never come home again. When you're an adult, obviously. Let's take a break. When we come back, let's find out who caller of the night is. Plus, we'll do our Glad to be Globe segment. Your chance of winning also 500 bucks load plus a a tattoo stick. Back after this. Stay tuned. We'll return after this commercial break. We're always on the move. It's really important for us to get better and stronger for every competition that we get into. For all the different lifestyles that we have, some of us are graphic artists, filmmakers. We still find ways to get together. We put a lot of effort in practicing and rehearsing. Sometimes there are bigglaang shows or auditions, so it's really important for us to get connected. I use my Globe group messaging to get a hold of everybody else. Malayo na rin ang narating namin, maraming na rin kami napuntahan. So it's really important to get connected. Hey podcasters, Mo here. You ever watch the podcast, right? And you're sitting there and you're looking at our female celebrity guest and you're looking at her skin and you're like, wow, I'd love to have that complexion. Well, your answer is this. Glutamax, the official skin whitening partner of Miss Earth International. Available in capsules, soaps, lotion, deodorant, and face cream. Bikutis Mayaman with Glutamax. It's available in leading drugstores and supermarkets nationwide. Podcasters, listen up. Big announcement. The Chevrolet Sonic is a dependable five-seater subcompact vehicle, and it delivers sufficient power, fuel efficiency, refined ride and handling, and a remarkable entertainment system. The Sonic is the perfect Chevrolet vehicle for those who are looking to make their daily city commute or weekend getaway drives more fun and exciting. It comes in two great body styles, the five-door hatchback and a four-door sedan. Equipped with a new 1.4-liter Ecotec engine with double continuous variable cam phase, that's CVC, the Chevy Sonic provides efficient power and quality driving performance. Now, to further highlight the youthful, sporty, and fun characteristics of the Sonic, Chevrolet has equipped the compact sedan with high-tech convenient features such as Bluetooth connectivity and audio streaming capabilities that are commonly found only on high-trim compact sedans. The Chevrolet Sonic is available at all Chevrolet dealers. It comes with a Chevrolet 5-year warranty, 3-year free roadside assistance, and the services of a 24-7 Chevy hotline. got jaundice. Jaundice is different from jaundice. Jaundice is buntis, like that. 
But she does not. <laughs> Tears up. Tears up. Anyway, John <laughs> does not know. <laughs> this is professional show. I will put the merienda here. <laughs> so John Tears. And I'm now happy to present to you Carl Lutario. Look at this. Ito, ganyan ba yan? Tapos? Ang puti. Mama. Ay, tapos. Dito ba pwede ba dyan? Pwede, pwede. Concealer. Ayan <laughs> na. Para sa show mo, ha? O. Oh. Aray ko. Ang mayaya ba? Pwede ba itong ano? <coughs> Zora, pang ano ba to Oil absorbing? Pwede ba itong pang nose line? <laughs> Tito oh. Kay, may caution. A when, caution! When caution! Mas na ng glamour, te! Oh. When used for the first two weeks, more pimples will appear. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh my god! Sorry, ma. Oh my god! 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 Join your host, Carrots Nazareno, on Live Love Lols every Thursday, 7.30 to 8.30, only here on The Factory. What you've been missing on The Factory. Were you the one who posted, James, regarding uh, the guidelines when it comes to checkpoints? Yes, I That's was. That's fantastic. Yes, I just made it up, but you know, I thought it was... <laughs> you made it up! <laughs> you made it up! I mean, this time of year, right? Elections. <laughs> uh, you know, you never let the truth get in the way of a good story, okay? <laughs> Children, do not follow this at home. I'm just kidding. <laughs> just so you know your rights, if you do get stopped by a checkpoint, you are not allowed we're able to, to verify all of these, James. You're not allowed to run over them. That didn't make it here. So technically... <laughs> now, number two. Upon approach, uh, slow down. I guess that counts as not running them over. <laughs> Dim headlights and slow turn down. on cabin lights. Okay. Cabin lights. Mm -hmm. Lock all doors of vehicles. During inspection, since lock, oh, lock. They might get uh, pissed off because nope. you're locking. But that's doors. the thing. Okay. This is where they get you, and this is actually. <laughs> I know we're making fun of it a little bit, but yeah. this is a serious issue. We've seen some people genuinely harass. Drugs yeah. are planted. Yeah, and, and, yeah, and, and, and other things, stories. you know. Um, mm. A Justin Bieber CD is planted, which is even worse. Oh, yes, no. I've heard of that, you know. And there's no defense for that. What's just there's Bieber really no defense. The, yeah, it's like, it's but Your Honor, we found this. I well, throw, throw the book at him. And the then CD as well. You, have to, you know, then after that you have to submit your cell phone and everything. Yeah. And ne next thing you know, you know you have a Justin Bieber ringtone. <laughs> oh, Catch James Deacon and God. the boys on Counterflow Wednesdays, 7:30 to 8:30, only here on the Factory. I don't know if you guys are familiar with the with the game Chubby Bunny. But what's um chub, what's wait. Have you have played Chubby Bunny before? No. You put a marshmallow in your mouth, you say Chubby Bunny. And you keep putting it in your mouth and you okay. keep saying Chubby Bunny. Okay. Whoever Let's can get it. the most in their mouth wins. But we're not gonna say Chubby Bunny. We're gonna say we're gonna have a conversation. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. So I'm gonna ask you okay gonna ba. Okay. And you're gonna be like okay na okay na. Okay. Okay. Okay? Yeah. No. Two at a time? Yeah, okay, I'm going to do it at a time. Okay, can I back? What? Okay, no, okay, no. <laughs> <laughs> I just saw it. Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, can I Okay, no, okay, no. Okay, no, okay. That show? That show! It's a show! You know, all that show! It's that show, buddy. Oh, that show! Oh. Yeah, that show's cool. We talk about... Oh, 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 what does this look like? Vagina? And... Like a double blowjob! Vagina? Who is the asshole that decided to shave the shit off the entire planet? Sometimes we like to talk about... 
It's like when you guys like a high five in on a girl and then you're doing her in the butt and you're doing her in the mouth. High five, bro. Vagina. Vaginas. And you're jacking off really intensely, but like massaging your balls and shit. I'm not talking about a Chewbacca, man. I'm just talking about a nice little, you know. Vaginas. And don't miss that spot, like the cowper's gland. It's like in between your balls and your asshole. So, but not me, because I'm a guy. Yeah, that's a cool show. You should watch it. I, I think we're on on TV. It's Good Times with Mo, the podcast. Call the show tonight and get your love problem answered. Follow us on Twitter at GTWM Podcast. And visit www.motwister.com. Back on the show. Time to wrap up tonight's episode. Want to thank all the people that called the program, got on the show today. Thank you very much. People in the chat room, by the way. Hello, chat room. Hashtag NMF chat for you, for those over there. Um, before we get to our caller of the night, let's do our Glad to Be Globe segment which uh, you call the show you tell us why you're happy glad to be part of globe and you can win yourself 500 bucks load plus a globe tattoo stick so let's go ahead and do that now let's uh talk to ivy who is 27 years old from plastic hi ivy you're on line four yeah, and uh, you're gonna tell us why you're glad to be globe go ahead ivy what's up ivy is Ivy listening to us? Yep, she's listening to the stream. She's super delayed. Oh, she's super delayed. Ivy. Hello? I need you to turn off the uh, stream and listen to the phone. Yes. Hey, dear. Can you hear me? Okay. Okay. The, Good, oh, the speakers are turned Don't off. Don't listen to the stream. Listen to the phone. Okay. Yeah, great. All right, so you can win 500 bucks load plus a tattoo stick. All you have to tell us is why are you glad to be mm. Globe? Okay. Right now? Go. Why? Yes, right now. So anyway, I was driving one night. It was really late. And I got a mm -hmm. flat tire, the front front wheel. And I had no load. Right. So good thing Globe right. has this emergency text where you can, like, text anybody up to, like, three messages, three texts. And you, and, and you don't have to have any load. They'll just, um, they'll just get the load from the next one when you load up. So that's why I'm glad wow, to be Globe. Wow, they do that. That's right. Yeah, that's right. And shoot, I mean, if it was nighttime as well, and you don't know how to change a flat tire, shit, your life could be on the line. Good thing that that was available. All right. Hey, yeah, that's a great story, man. Congratulations. Yeah. Hey, guess what? Now you have load. 500 bucks worth of load uh, coming your way, plus a Globe tattoo stick. Thank you very much, Ivy. And I'm glad you're Globe, too, because if not, maybe you wouldn't be on the show today if something might have happened to you, right, if you were not uh, for Globe on that night. Oh, right, okay, I'm not going online, on air. You're on air already. Oh, am I? You're on air. Yes. Oh, okay, because I, I have See? the live stream on, on the internet, but That's it's right. like, we I think it's a, a different... We are a little delayed yeah. there, just... Yeah. All right. Thanks, baby. Hold on one second. We're gonna give your. We're gonna get your details. Okay. Thank Call you. Call of the night time. Now. Yeah. Thank you, love. Uh, I. I want. I originally wanted the girls with the blowjobs who are learning how to bl get blowjobs from. But we've been trying to call them, and they are not available. Um, they're offline already. So Nadine and Maurice, you were supposed to be caller of the night. So I went with my backup plan, and that's Maria, the 16-year-old. A uh, lesbian who wants to have a fling but wants to know how to get involved in one. Maria, you're back on the show. 16, congratulations. You are caller of the night tonight, and you get to choose what prize you want. Congratulations, Maria. Hi, thanks. Um, I'd like the watch, please. Yeah, we, uh, watch. what we have... Yeah, what we have available are Lincoln Park VIP passes. We have a boost case for your iPhone 5, and we have a Meister watch. Of the three, I think the Meister watch is the most expensive and valuable one. Um, but the Lincoln okay, Park tickets okay. are pretty badass, though. So which one do you want? The Meister watch. Watch. All right, Meister watch it is. Sounds sexy. Yeah, you need a, if you need a watch, definitely. That's the way to go. It's, it's a fantastic watch. One more thing, uh, Maria. Our, I was just reading a chat log here from the staff. Uh, Ange, you have some advice? Uh, 
Angie's our in-house lesbian too. No, I'm not the lesbian. And do you have some advice for? Well, you're sometimes a lesbian. Sometimes, yeah. Well, you've slept with females. Who is this? Though, right? Yeah, see, so that's a. This is Anne. She's our producer. She's sometimes a lesbian okay. and sometimes not. Sometimes. But I, uh, she's got advice for you. Yeah, she's got advice <laughs> sorry. for you. Sorry. And she's still old for you, so don't worry about it. But Anne, <laughs> okay, okay. what are, what are we going to tell this girl? Just go out, go to places where other girls from other schools go. And then just... That's what I said, Anne, you stupid ass. I'm don't you that's have what I said to you on the Skype. I just read it now. You said, hold on. What did I say? Transfer to your high school because there's a lot of girls who are lesbians there and they're next to yeah. her Almost school. Everyone well, what school did you go to, Edge? It's an exclusive girl this? school in. Yeah, what's like the name? Saint School. Oh, Saint School in Manila? Saint School Marikina. There's a Saint School in Marikina. Oh uh, my god, oh my god. What? Oh my god, what? I almost went there. Oh my, I almost went there. You almost, dude. You should have. Maria, I, according according to Ange ironic, here. Sorry. That's why I was a lesbian. Yeah, overflowing <laughs> with was, lesbians. You were a lesbian Marikina. there. Oh, she, she was yeah, when yeah, she was your age. She changed. I've changed. Ironically, I didn't, at the time, at the time, I, wa I didn't want to go because I was afraid I'm going to be a lesbian. But yeah. Yeah, but everyone's I'm, a lesbian well, there, now, so. Yeah. Now that you are, there. that's the yeah, that's the capital of lesbians. So head over there and oh my uh, god, just... do you go tambay at Magdo? What? Do you, do you go make tambay at, at Magdo? I used to when I, I was in you. high school. I don't anymore because uh, that place is full of high school kids. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in yeah, but she's sixteen. <laughs> Not to mention them. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. All right. You order a McVadge when you're there yeah. and uh, enjoy. Okay? Congratulations. You have okay. a Meister watch as well. All right. Thank you, Maria. Okay. Hold on. We're going to need your information. We'll see you guys tomorrow on the program. Thank you, Ange, for the Lesbo advice. Um, we'll see you guys tomorrow on the program. I want to thank everyone who downloads this show, the callers, the staff, the chatters, and everybody who makes this possible. Have a great night, everyone, and see you guys tomorrow. Good Times with Mo, the podcast, was executively produced by Mohan Gulata, engineered by Miguel Alfindo, and operated by Icon Media Inc. Special thanks to Magic 89.9. <laughs> you can follow Mo on Twitter at www.twitter.com slash DJ Mo Twister. Email him at goodtimeswithmopodcast at rocketmail.com. So would Kilo wait for your phone?